Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a unique glitch flash effect that you can also use as a transition effect. So before we begin this tutorial, I just want to say if you're not following me on social media, go follow me on Instagram at Justin Odisho. We're live streaming, we're having a bunch of fun, you don't want to miss it. So I'll see you guys on there. So I've got a couple of clips laid out in the timeline, and in order to build this effect out so that it happens in between a cut, Let's head over to the Project Media Bin, make sure it's highlighted, and then go to File, New, Adjustment Layer. That's going to create a blank adjustment layer, which we can drag on top of our track and apply effects that will influence both of the clips underneath, even through the cut. So I'm just pulling the adjustment layer in so that it only happens for a few frames on either side of the cut. Just for measure here, I'm using about 10 frames on each side of the clips. So now on the adjustment layer, we want to build out some glitch and flash effects. So let's start with the glitchiness. If we head over to the effects panel on the right hand side, let's open up the search tab and search for the wave warp. You should find it in the distort folder of the video effects and you can click and drag it onto the adjustment layer. Now there's a ton of different possibilities within this wave warp menu. And the one that we're going to use to create some nice glitchiness is the noise wave type. So that's going to create a nice noisy look. However, let's adjust the wave height and the wave width to kind of split up those bars. So I'm going to take the wave width and I'm going to increase it until I can start to see some better separation between each bar. Now the wave height is how separate do you want the height of each of these bars to be. And if the more I do it, the more split up you see it gets, especially on these letters. That creates a really cool effect for this particular clip. Now the pinning, if we set it to all edges, it's going to get rid of those black edges that kind of got pulled apart. So now we have a decent glitch and keep in mind that this is going to jitter and move and undulate like a wave, which is what this effect is, depending on the wave speed. So by default it's one and that works fine, but if for some reason you wanted to experiment with a faster wave, just increase it one at a time, maybe try two or three. So now we have a glitch transition, so if I play that back. And one last thing I didn't mention is that you can adjust the direction. So that's just 90 degrees up and down, but you can do diagonal, you can do horizontal if we just did 180 degrees, if you want to do like a left and right glitch. If you're doing multiple transitions like this, switch it up between different clips for more variety. But now that we have our glitch happening, let's add the flash to it, which is going to create the second half of this effect. So if we head over to the effects panel, this time let's search for one called echo and let's click and drag that onto the adjustment layer as well. And not only is this going to give us a chance to add a bright flash, it's also going to give us another degree of glitchiness because this echo places the clip on top of each other at a delayed time interval. And what's giving it the bright character is that we're having the echo operator or in other words, the blending of the two be add, which is kind of a bright one. You could also do screen for a little less strong of an effect, or if you wanted to go the opposite and go dark, you could try minimum for a darkening effect. But let's keep it at add because that gives us the brightest flash. And one thing that you can even experiment with is the number of echoes. So this is just one duplication. We can add two echoes, and you can see that makes it even way brighter. But you can lower the decay. So the decay is how strong each echo is. So what you can do is maybe do two echoes at 60% and that'll give us a more balanced look. In this clip's case, I'm going to increase the echo time to two seconds so we get even more of a separation. And now let's play that back and see how it looks. Pretty cool looking. So once you want to duplicate it to different portions of your clip or in between different cuts, you can either just right click, copy and paste it, or hold the Alt and Option key and you can click drag it out to make copies across different sections. And not only can you use this as a cool transition, you could just place this on any portion of the clip to sync to some music or whatever, and it'll just glitch during a clip. So you don't have to make it a transition, it can just be a cool effect as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like on it, check out some of my other tutorials, transitions, and effects on the playlist on my channel, and make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new future videos. You can follow me on social media, at Justin Odisho, to stay tuned for more. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.